Hello, my name is Lillian Howe. This is my final reflection video for KHS 1010 with Miss Wentz. And I might as well just hop right in to what my goals were in the beginning of the semester. So goal number one was um, I will designate 45 minutes every other night to sketching in my sketchbook for the entire fall semester in order to manage my school related stress. This was a goal oriented towards my emotional well-being. Um, my second goal was I will meditate once a week for 15 minutes using the app Headspace until the end of the semester in order to connect with myself spiritually and to allow more headspace in my everyday life. This was geared towards my spiritual well-being. And then my third goal was I will only spend a maximum of $15 a week for the fall semester in order to improve my spending habits and become consumer conscious. This was um, geared towards my financial well-being. So those were my goals. Um, some things that I've learned is that sometimes in the midst of balancing all of my goals and all of my school-related stress and uh, social life, other things on top of that, it's really hard to sometimes remember um, other wellness factors that might not be as uh, important to you, such as your emotional well-being, sometimes can be put to the side. Um, I learned that a lot because it was hard to focus on things like meditating and sketching when I have uh, a lot of final projects or papers or just assignments due and tests to study for. Um, I also learned that stress makes you lose sight of your goals. Um, that also is related to that, a lot of school-related stress and um, that kind of thing can make you forget about other things that might not be as important in your life, um, but are also important to your well-being. Um, and it's very hard to prioritize your well-being when you are very busy. I also learned, which I didn't write down, that um, a lot of factors contribute to your well-being. Um, you know, sometimes when you think that if you're passing all your classes or if you're getting all A's, that means you're doing well in life, but that doesn't always, that's not always the case if you are struggling in other wellness spheres, such as your emotional or financial spheres. Um, some progress, my progress made, um, as with my first goal, I'm sketching to deal with a lot of stress. I don't do it every night, but I, when I feel stressed, I like to sketch, so I've been doing that a lot and it's helped me manage. I have not meditated yet, but I have gone to yoga. And um, spending, I have met that goal. I only spend about $75 a month. Um, and then some setbacks I encountered was finding time to prioritize these goals in the midst of my school responsibilities. Um, and thoughts moving forward, um, realizing that my emotional and spiritual health will also help with my schoolwork and my overall well-being. As I talked about, a lot of things go in go into how you are doing all together and I need to focus a lot more on emotional and spiritual health um, and I think I'm doing well in that and so I'm proud of myself in these goals as I didn't meet all of them I am making progress in them so overall I think um, that I learned a lot in this class and I'm excited to see if I can keep up with these goals thank you